What up you guys? It's your tall guy. Good morning, yet again, from the farm. Strolling down the marketplace. Jamming uh, Californication as always. I feel like they always got the song playing, right? <laughs> anyway guys, here uh, back at the farm for just more updates. Most importantly, log ride. And to prove I'm not lying, all attractions are open except Soul Spin, Calico Mine Riding, Ghost Rider, and the best ones. Some of the best ones. That's unfortunate. But strolling down Beach Boulevard, let me tell you, if anyone cares, well, I care. The McDonald's that is there is still under construction, but it's going vertical. It's almost there. And there's a lot of schools here today. A lot of kids in schools. But let me tell you, I'm also here to talk about six months in about about the prestige pass how I feel about it right off the bat skipping all those crowds and taking advantage of the preferred entrance it's already a good deal if you guys haven't done so already would appreciate if you drop your tall guy a like comment down below subscribe if you haven't already and take care first order of business burrito time hi Rachel and second order of business with no time to waste the log ride is back. Ah, oh, finally. We're gonna get a quick ride on. It's been a minute. It has been a minute, but not. We pulled it off. <laughs> At least right before summer. Jacks, prepare to take a ride. Straight through Timber Mountain. And along the Great Divide. Make sure your eyes are sharp. And your eyes are peeled wide. I think the last time I got on the log ride was during the Hootenanny uh, Scary Farm, if you know what I mean. Still good right through um, during that time, but gotta love classic Timber Mountain. So it's a good day, it's a good day. Sadly, I cannot film on the log ride, or as you guys know, any knots ride in particular, but the log ride is just one of them you can't film on. So, sadly, I gotta put the camera away and you'll just get my after ride reaction. I just fell off the log ride. It was so much fun. It Finally, just, it came back. Fine. Just in time for summer. Do you, like, do you like the front row or the back row when you go? The very front. You gotta be the first one, right? Woodstock's probably hiding out behind you underneath the ears as you're flying down so he doesn't get wet. He's hiding behind me. He was hiding behind. <laughs> Alright you guys, made it onto the stagecoach. We got Chastens in LA on the stagecoach with us. What's up Josh, how you doing What's man? What's going on man? First We're time on the fun. channel, first time on the vlog. I know, I finally made it. Check it's out his channel time. and subscribe to him. But, as we get going, I just wanted to talk a little bit about the prestige pass up here. It's been about a solid six, six months since we had the prestige pass, you know, has it really been worth it to us? Have we used all the benefits and it's time? Uh, let's get into it. So, uh, me and Rachel have the prestige pass. I pay about, well, when I got the pass, we got them at a special rate when Knott's Berry Farmers discounted it to renew. And um, I pay for, I would pay about $80 a month. And that's with dining plan included as well. So, and I do know it just went up recently. So, um, I'll have to look up those prices. But, overall, um, 80 bucks a month for two people. Not a bad deal with our dining plan. Prestige Pass does come with parking. We always take advantage of that option. Not just regular parking, preferred parking, which is nice. Use it every time. It's not a certain time frame. You can use the preferred only, which is lovely. This prestige entrance is only open an hour um, into the park opening. So, I mean, I took advantage of that today, which was nice. There's a lot of schools and field trips for some reason. But um, we get the same discounts. How much do you get on your discount for your pass? 15. 15? 15 now for the gold. Do I get 20? So you get 20. I get 20. The, the gold and the regular now i think are both 15. Okay, i think so okay. i think that's what it is hold on we're passing by accelerator can we get the monkey can i get the monkey can i get the monkey accelerator <laughs> come on come on i laughed way too hard at that at work. <laughs> can we get a monkey can we get a launch on the stagecoach i don't think so 
I think that now nah, they're still sitting. Nah, they're still loading. There they think. go. They got the oh. oh! We sort of got the monkey. Yeah. <laughs> we were denied the monkey. Um, but aside from that, the biggest sell point that the Prestige Pass has is the uh, the social lounge, Prestige Pass VIP lounge area. Um, we're gonna go in today, check it out to see if there's anything new in there. But uh, been in there a couple times. Lovely. It's nice and air conditioned. It's gonna come in clutch during Ghost Town season, Ghost Town Alive season. Um, but for the most part, uh, free snacks as well. Can't forget that. Although the the signal in there kind of sucks for phone service and whatnot. Passing by Camp Snoopy now to get those quick updates. Sally swing along. Still in the same state as it was last week. We got beehive farming. Yeah, there was kind of a beehive effect. There's a lot of bees. Uh, let's see what the rest of the camp looks like. <laughs> Hello, campers. Now for the main attraction. Oh, look, we got the ride vehicle in there covered in the track already. That's cool. Hello, hey, y'all doing a good job. <laughs> But that was really cool, kind of seeing the ride vehicles covered up. They're working hard. The coasters are coming along. Coaster progress continues, as I would say. Look at that. Love to see it. Oh, we made it. Oh, we made it. All right, let's take a look at the, the theater real quick. Um, we, okay, we got some work going on in there. That's kind of new. As far as groundwork goes, kind of looks the same. No progress just yet. It's only been a week. It's only been a week, you know. Nothing too crazy to, to report on. But we got the right vehicles on the track. And talk about X chilling chambers. Uh, it's looking about the same as last week. I don't see no new prop pieces or set pieces being put in place. That outdoor area doesn't look like it's being worked on at all. It looks like it's all covered up right now. Still got the facade. Fiftieth. Wonder if they're gonna change that. They have to, right? But uh, to wrap up the, the topic of stage pass, is it something I would get again? Personally, I probably would. Um, what sells me? What sells me about the prestige pass is the the fast lane feature. It guarantees me one ride every visit. I love the rides here, although I can't record on them. Um, <laughs> I love getting out of Silver Bullet, Ghost Rider, Hang Time, Accelerator, for that matter. All those rides offer the fast lane feature, single use fast lane feature for the Prestige Pass. So, I forgot to mention that my, <laughs> the pass comes with Soak City too. I'm not the biggest water park enthusiast though. I'm not, not too big on water parks. That's, that's just me. You like the water parks. I love the water parks. I, I cannot wait. You go to Soak City last year? Oh yeah. Yeah? Soak City. More Hurricane Harbor last year, but might switch it up this year. Might do more, more Soak City. Maybe I'll give it a shot this year. Maybe. Gotta do it, brother. Just wanted to take a small stroll through this uh, corner of the park where Barry tells us that, but let's peep inside Cordy's real quick. Just see if there's uh, any cool merch. Nothing too crazy here, but I'm gonna showcase the Silver Bullet merch. Check it out. You can buy coaster cutout ride vehicles of the Silver Bullet ride. <laughs> I've never seen that before. That's kind of cool. Uh, here's a t-shirt. And this is, uh, what is this? Is this like, you could build the right, oh yeah, you build, so you could buy the right vehicle seats and the tracks, that's kind of cool. Baseball cap. Nice, not silver bullet baseball cap, all right, all right. Nice little canteen, shot glass, and a home mug, hand wash only, $25. Rachel made a, a very good observation. It's the 20th anniversary of Silver Bullet. Happy birthday, Silver Bullet. 2024, 2004, 20 years. Damn. There it is. But the same, I don't think this is 20th anniversary merch though. I think this has just been here for a minute. All right, so the last thing we're gonna do is pop into the Prestige Lounge, just walking into Ghost Town. So uh, let's see what's inside, let's see what's new, and just, just relax. Alrighty, 
party just coming out of the prestige lounge and man do I feel relaxed nice and AC in there chill vibes quiet not too much soon enough that's gonna say founders day on that banner can't wait to be here for that but uh, let's make our way out of the park it's gonna do it for today but before we head out Rachel wants to purchase a boysenberry plant a new fun little house project she wants to work on over the years so pick your plants alrighty guys that is gonna do it for today's vlog hope you enjoyed the log ride is back so get on it before the lines get crazy long before summer arrives which is around the corner but um yeah I think the next time we might be back either whether it be a chill day at Knott's or Ghost Town Alive can't wait for that It'll be a good time we'll be here um, and definitely for whenever they want to open up Camp Snoopy so that'll be fun sun is real bright out here anyways if you guys haven't done, done so already drop your tall guy like comment down below subscribe if you haven't already you'll catch this tall guy at the next theme park we are out of here I was on my way out of the farm but a quick scary farm update for all of y'all shout out to Chastens and LA Josh for noticing this a big wooden structure has popped up near um, what used to be the depths interesting is it a show building I, I i don't know what the left of this building looks like but a giant wooden building has popped up show building just maybe i don't know we'll have to wait and see